So that's been exciting. Um, we are going to do a demonstration, and third grade is going to be first. We did try to tune everybody and get rods on their nose and shoulder pads on before they got here. So third grade can stand up and get in rest position. This took a couple months to get um, rest position down, just so you have an idea. There are 42 things that people need to know to be able to play twinkle. So the violin is really quite, a, what do you want to call it? It's sort of a neutralizing equalizer type of instrument to play. You can be a great athlete, a great student, you can be the top of your field, and violin kind of humbles us sometimes. Um, it's a very challenging endeavor. So the bow is held in the right hand, and the hair should be this horse hair on the bow. This is all um, from the tail, of course. It's bleached. And we don't touch it with our hands because the oil in our skins makes it too greasy to play. I've helped in some public schools where they actually put the cow oil on the horse hair because some people were confused. And that actually just ran the boat. You can't play with cow oil on your horse hair. So we use rosin to grip the string. And then they're all holding their bodies beautifully in rest position. They're not crushing the fine tuners. Their arms are behind the bridge. That bridge has 40 pounds of pressure on it. So I applaud all of you parents who are very much to let them get their instruments out of home. I know some of them are just scared about that. Um, we try not to practice on tile, because usually tile and anything in my own is it. So they have done a great job maintaining their instruments this year, and we have all our strings too. So in third grade, we'll come out, we're going to demonstrate to you um, flower song and monkey song, which we use the open string so you can hear the resonance. Our violins are basically an amplifier that within box amplifies the sound. I love it because it's unplugged. It's a way to get away from technology. Um, you create your own sound, and you don't really need any power. You can play outside, you can play with all your friends. So Charles Wilder is going to need this, and he's going to have to go stand over there by his dad, because they won't be able to see him if he's up here. So we go to... Let's bring out another... We have two rows, so let's have another one. Again, rest position is huge, very important. There are 40 violins in the orchestra that I play, and we need to get on stage without breaking anything. So, um, and without getting these pets, because it will go out of tune. So, the violin is challenging enough that we want to make sure we don't start with the violin out of tune. So, if you can see Charles over there, he's going to lead this without even having to talk. He'll go right to playing position. And then I was going to play the introduction. And then you can um, start them with flower song. So I'll grab the violin and I'll do the introduction. Okay, so everybody's eyes are on Charles. All right.
everybody, not in the stand, but in front of your case, I'm sorry. So everybody that is, that should be most of you. I wrote this down. <laughs> so all of you go sit in front of your case right now. Thank you. Okay. Um, Dr. Suzuki was a Japanese gentleman who, whose father owned a violin factory. The American teachers discovered this method in 1964 or 58. Anyway, he, Suzuki did not answer 20 of the letters that an American teacher had sent over to Japan asking how he was teaching young children to play violin. In this country, normally you don't start anyone to violin until you're 9 or 12. And finally, Suzuki's wife said, please answer this gentleman from Southern Illinois. I think he's where he is. And they did. The teachers went over there and they were very moved by what they saw. So the Suzuki method is very um, highly parent concentrated. Um, it doesn't work without the support of the parents until the child is about nine. So this is a really extraordinary group of parents, obviously. At this school, you're all committed and involved with your children. That's why this is working. So we are going to play one of our variations. Dr. Suzuki wrote six people variations. He realized that children around the world do not like to hear children out of tune. Um, so it's a pretty great song to teach a lot of skills. So we use this variation, Taka Taka Stop Stop, which is in a lot of violin concertos. And it's our first piece that we're going to play together. All of the fourth graders are ready to play this. We're going to share some violins in the back. So just give me a moment and set up and we'll play. I can't give up.
get Sasha up here, Zoe, Lainey down here on the floor, Austin, um, Lulu, and Jason. And I'm going to go lead, and I'm going to see if they'll watch me. I'm going to stop randomly and see if they're watching me.